able to see this. There's who's around the corner. We should be able to see it. It's going to be up in front of us. Yeah. We were passionate about uh, old industrial buildings. We were looking to go a bit more extreme. A certain moment we had the idea, hey, why not uh, a water tower? Yeah. That's it. That's his house. For one and a half year, we spent on driving around our motorbike looking for water towers. So it was also a bit of a challenge to find them because sometimes they are near the road, sometimes they are in the middle of a forest. And then when we found them, we tried to find out whether they would still be used as a water tower. And if it would not be the case, we would try to find out whether it was for sale or not. And then at the end, we found this one. And when we had the opportunity to buy it, we, we didn't hesitate a single second. They call it the Chateau d'Eau in French. <laughs> it's a little water castle. A water castle, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, we are here in the heart of the tower, which is the, the largest part. It's got uh, 150 square meters of, uh, of surface. And so here, uh, this, we're in the water reservoir. So the, these concrete walls are part of the water reservoir. And there's still quite a part of it. So the black wall behind the kitchen up to there. So we kept a big part of it. And the other part we took away to create a view uh, and, and to get natural light in. So this is what held the water in? Yes, yes. So the, wall came, the water came up to here. It's the original height of the, of the water reservoir. So this was the tank? Yeah, so this is still part of the water reservoir. If you, you can see here, the, ver the real original shape. So this is okay. as it was uh, everywhere. It was no longer used for uh, about 10 or 15 years when we found it. So it was in bad shape. At that moment, the concrete was with rotten parts on it. The bricks were completely uh, black, so it was, it was in bad shape. But the structure itself was, was uh, very solid, so it just had to be renovated. It was quite naive <laughs> that we bought it because we didn't have any permit to convert it into something else. And so it took us 12 years, seven years to get the necessary permit and five years of renovation works. The main objective was to keep the original character of the, of the water tower as much as possible as it was. So no walls, no new ceiling, so keep everything as it was. Of course with uh, new insulation, because it didn't have uh, any insulation. So the whole tower was, and the interior was rebuilt with insulation uh, material to make it li livable. <laughs> So we've got six levels, and in between each level it's five meters. Because we don't have an attic or a basement, and so we have sacrificed the first floor for the technical space. And wow. you can see on every floor, of course, the old metal tubes of the original water tower. This was distributing the water. The water came up one central pipe, which was much, much smaller, which we took away. Uh, and we only keep the main one. So we're on the second floor, so we're 10 meters high. And this used to be living here. It was the children's room. No, because we actually still use it when we have to be here uh, early. So we with the folding bed. Voilà. Yeah, it's ready for use. It's ready for use, yeah, just pull it up. And yeah. <laughs> it changes from corporate to bedroom. Yes. In a few minutes. <laughs> Indeed. When the kids were living here, we have uh, made this one to give them some privacy as well. We could close down that hatch. It's, it's so great how the, the, the view is changing over every floor. Yes. You just keep getting a different perspective. Yeah, yeah. So, third floor, 15 meters high, counting. This floor we used as a, as a bathroom. And indeed, it's a water tower. So we wanted the element water had to be very important again. And so we created a giant rain shower. How does it work? Yeah, well, it's, it's a touch, uh, touch screen shower. We wanted a, rain, uh, a tropical rain shower. <laughs> and it really feels like that. <laughs> the water comes down from how, how high? <laughs> well, it's, I think it's about four, four meters and a half. We had a lot of ideas around water. And finally, this was the one we retained. I've always dreamed about having a bathtub standing uh, in the space. 
So this whole room is a bathroom. Yeah, the entire floor is uh, 50 square meters of bathroom. Yeah. We, are, we have a little detail here. We also have created the toilet with a view. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a lot of farm, farmland. Yeah. Fields are changing from week to week and that's great. This is the fourth floor. Uh, so this used to be the master bedroom. Our bed was the main bed was standing here. When we were living here, yeah. we are uh, little kids so because of the high staircases. Yes. We built this thing to keep them safe, basically. So we could close it down. So they could play around. To keep it virtually a circle. Whatever you, you look at it, it, remain, it, it keeps uh, the circle, uh, circular element. You don't put anything against the walls. So you don't no. block off the... Yeah. No. So they had your closets fit clothing. Yeah. 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 yeah, indeed. Great. Just just for clothing, indeed. Uh -huh. Did you live here for a few years? Uh, four years. Wow. Yeah. And it works as a home. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> so we, we still have a, a nice element over here of the original water tower. And if they had to be do man maintenance works on the water network, they could, they could turn off the water supply here. When was this last used, you know? This must have been the 1980s. The water tower became too small. It, it contains 250,000 liters of water, but, but it was uh, too small for the three surrounding villages. And so they created a new reservoir but a few kilometers from here. They actually wanted to destroy it. But there were people of the community here. They said, no, 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 we want to keep our water tower. So it's a protected monument uh, even now. So the next floor, the fifth floor, is the, is the water reservoir. And of course here in the heart of the tower, what we wanted to hear was the, the kitchen and, and the living room. It's, it's quite traditional uh, kitchen, apart from the, the shape, but it's got all the, the, the necessary things. The dishwasher. It's very practical, even the, the material is, is, is made that it's easy maintainable. Is there a refrigerator? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really got, uh, got everything at hand. So this is, the, this is the part of the water reservoir. It's a concrete structure. What was typical of this water tower is that we had the concrete wall here to hold the water, and then the next wall with the space in between, just to do the maintenance works, basically. We put um, a new floor in it, but actually the water reservoir continues for almost two meters further down below. Yeah, so the living room is you're inside the water reservoir. Yes. Because you could have gotten rid of the tank completely. You oh, we didn't want to. Right. We didn't want to, of course. Right. We wanted to keep as much uh, as possible, but to make it livable. Yes. So we kept 65% of the water reservoir. Uh, we just painted it. In the, all the original elements, we painted in the black, uh, black color. That's why we had uh, the staircase, which is the original one. We had the metal tube, black as well, to really to create the difference between uh, the new and, uh, and the old. And we used to have cats. We love cats. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so this was, this was the cat space. We even installed an, an evacuation channel for the uh, caca. The, the smell. <laughs> yeah, for the yeah. smell. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's funny it to think that you were Inside, and you see it from here that you're inside the water reservoir. Yeah, because this, this little part we took out because this is basically the, um, the site where the, the sun comes up. You can see the really going up and then the sun tra travels through all the, the, the space. So you need to break a bit of, a, of the tank. Yeah. Great views, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why we wanted a water tower, because you usually don't have 360 degrees view. So you certainly can see the, the seasons here, right? Because yeah, the, yeah, for sure. Crops. It's possible now it's yellow, maybe the next week may be turning, that, it, that it's gone and then it's becoming brown again. It's as if the whole surrounding fields are your garden, with the advantage that you don't have to work in it. So. <laughs> And of course, we've got a good view on the skyline of Brussels. 
Also in terms of the windows, because normally water towers, so they don't need windows. Yeah. But here the architect, for one or another reason, he, he found it uh, nice yeah. to, to, to create windows. So he created 40, 40 windows in the water tower. I've never seen a, a water tower with so many windows, basically. So we, we were looking for that. Despite being a water tower, it doesn't clash with the surroundings in a very uh, aggressive way. It doesn't look uh, like a, something you have to demolish because it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Not everyone shares that view. Now they do, but at the time it was an old, ugly <laughs> water tower because it was no longer used. There were certain people of the community and they said, no, it's no longer used, so we have to, to eliminate it. And then luckily for us, there were a number of people who said, no, 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 we love that water tower, it has to stay. Can you go? Yes, we can go up to the, uh, it's the roof terrace. <laughs> and so we have been living here for one year and a half with the two children. So when we decided to move out, and that was basically because of reasons to live closer to school and the family and so on. And so we said, well, okay, what are we going to do with the tower? Shall we sell it? Shall we try to rent it out? And at a certain point we had the idea, hey, maybe it's interesting to rent it out on a day basis to companies who look for something special. So you have lights on top? Is that yeah. because you're so high? Yeah, so all the towers near the airport have this kind of uh, lamps. Because how high is this? How high? Uh, 30 meters high. 30 meters high. Yeah. I told you we had three showers. I don't know whether you counted them. Ah, this one. <laughs> here again, we wanted to keep the water elements. We do some sunbathing here, and then we can cool down uh, with the shower. We, we have used it a lot. It's, uh, it's, it's really an, an amazing feeling to take a shower here while the planes are landing. <laughs> Never gets boring. Yeah, but it remains special, I can guarantee you, yeah. Do you agree with this perspective of some architects? And they do find these sort of old chimneys and elements and they fight to preserve them mm. instead of demolishing them. Oh, I love that. Isn't it part of the story of the place anyway? No, indeed, because when we visit a, a city, that's the part we, we are looking for. Uh, the original part, the old in former industrial part, which is being converted into something new. That's, I, we love that. Touchdown. So what's next? Water tower? I mean, <laughs> how do you beat this? <laughs> you have to keep on dreaming, but uh, yeah, this was, this, this was really the dream we realized, so uh, yeah. Yeah.